So at around 10 p.m. Pacific time on July 18th, 2024, there was a post on the CrowdStrike subreddit. They say BSOD, or Blue Screen of Death error, in the latest CrowdStrike update. And they're asking, hey everyone, is anyone else currently being affected by this whole Blue Screen of Death outage presumably from the CrowdStrike agent. Hey, computers, workstations, and servers that were using CrowdStrike Falcon Sensor, that EDR, XDR, endpoint detection response agent, but that started to catch fire. It was presumably imploding, is really the word that I think might fit best here. Everyone's saying, hey, it's stuck in a boot loop. It won't be able to get past the blue screen of death, and that's taking down servers, workstations, organizations, enterprise, industry sectors. You can see folks saying, hey, uh-oh, this is affecting us on a Friday, and it's taken out an airport or a bank or whatever state, municipality, government, 911 things. I don't know. You really, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Hey, are you affected from this? Let me know in the comments down below or whatever. And this is uh, kind of crazy. It's wild to see maybe a good portion of the internet just sort of choke and fall over thanks to this. Uh, we could scroll through it all on uh, Reddit if we particularly wanted to, but I did want to note, look, I was trying to scream and shout about this on Twitter, or X, as it was all unfolding. Sorry, quick cut. Before we go too much further into the video and the explanation in the background, I would love to walk through this thread on, hey, some of the actual places that have been affected by this. What the blue screen of death boot loop across all these endpoints with CrowdStrike really means, there's been a very cool thread from Sci-Fi10 who shared this uh, as well as Troy Hunt's kind of messaging and reporting out on that. There is a lot in that one if you want to dig into it. But the videos here to think of like, uh-oh, what's going on? Is this a cyber attack? Uh, some folks over at Vegas at the scene at the Cosmopolitan, the hotel re uh, reservations there, they can't check in. But if you actually take a look at the video and I'll play this, audio might be rough. We'll see. Look at the blue screen at death. Oh, that's crazy. That is so crazy. It's just bonkers. Uh, and then a lot of folks have been thinking, uh oh, is it Microsoft? But no, it is the communication uh, in CrowdStrike in this issue here. Dubai Airport? Uh, everybody just kind of hanging around. You can't quite see the blue screen of death issues, but obviously this is very, very frustrating for folks out traveling right now. First report of an actual outage that I saw. This is Ontario. Um, Delta flights have all been, I think, grounded and canceled. If you search, there are countless people stranded. Hotels, airlines, credit card processing, so many online services down completely. It's wild to see how much of that is just absolutely reliant on the tech that we use. I mean, obviously, but like to think that, oh, the security component, like a CrowdStrike EDR, XDR, is when a lot of this comes to life. And why Combinator News chatting about it? Yeah. Workplace and a lot of people reporting about this. Sorry, I didn't mean to, I, I re recorded the rest of this video before this part. And now that I realize, uh oh, this would be really neat to showcase the visuals here. Um, I wanted to make sure that this got in, but that way you can see the absolute craziness of multiple planes stuck on the tarmac due to this crowd strike issue. I think that helps paint the picture as to what is really going on and how this uh, affects the world and why this is such a big deal. This is all at LAX too. This is all Los Angeles International Airport. Do they actually have the video there? They do. Uh, Raw's global, blue screen of death all over. Folks saying airport is hacked, but it's just a blue screen of death. That's wild to see. Cheesy videos here. Ryanair, Manchester Airport, Edinburgh Airport. Disruptions at Amsterdam Airport, Israel Central Bank, CrowdStrike issues affecting banks, live broadcasts in Australia. Folks chatting about this, just a picture here. And oh, they referenced mine. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's probably quite a hit to uh, the line graph for that stuff. <laughs> Hong Kong Airport, KLM, Sweden. This is going to be ginormous news. Supermarkets going cash only in Sydney. 
Now, I'll be the first to admit, I don't have a CrowdStrike virtual machine. I couldn't really test, I couldn't experiment, I wouldn't see this personally with my own computer and keyboard and mouse. It just wasn't something that I got to viscerally see in front of me, other than people screaming and shouting across the internet, Twitter, and Reddit. But I did want to try to help spread the word and see this unravel. I tried to post over on Twitter about at 11 o'clock, as it's just getting to that time. And uh, the messaging that came out that was presumably just available then, as folks were chatting about it and if you wanted to look through the replies, you could see it. That was behind a login portal, and I'll include the link if that's helpful for anyone in the video description alongside the Reddit page, uh, but you would need the access that you would have being a CrowdStrike customer that I do not have. Um, a lot of folks were able to share that, but at the time of writing, it seemed like that was just, hey, we know it's happening, we're aware, but they didn't have any other details. Now, you tuning into this video, you probably might be a little bit more pertinent on, okay, how can we actually fix this? If you are someone who has now woke up to a Friday morning full of blue screens of death, an entire outage, uh, sorry, my heart goes out to you, apologies, but uh, it sounds like what at least the first gut reaction as a workaround and fix was, hey, actually renaming the drivers folder and path in C Windows System 32 slash drivers slash CrowdStrike was the original name. You could change it to a CrowdStrike.temp or .hotfix or Band-Aid, whatever, and then that would not end up loading the driver. Some folks are saying, hey, that works. Good for them. Happy to hear it. It will work. Blah, 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 etc., etc., etc. It's worth noting, though, if you were to try to run this command from a safe mode, like, hey, you boot into safe mode, select the advanced startup options, and then run with command prompt, then you could enter this PowerShell syntax to rename item, or ren is the old school cmd.exe dos command, so that syntax is available for you, but if you were to do that, then that would basically mean CrowdStrike can't properly load its driver, so it's all security capability, XDR, EDR, whatever, is just kind of out the window. So that's less ideal, but we did get to see some folks chatting about this. Brody, the director of Overwatch over at CrowdStrike. So, hey, someone on the inside, someone with more of the details, they're saying, hey, we actually are tracking this down. Of course, it is actually a faulty channel file, so not quite a full-blown update. And there is a workaround that's a little sharper, that's a little bit more accurate than, oh, renaming the entire driver's file and folder's path. If you boot into safe mode, again, as the only thing that you can do, and I will note, if you have BitLocker encryption, that's totally not doable, and I'm sorry, unless you can get, enter the key. I think I saw some folks chatting about that. Again, all the links in the video description if that's helpful for you. But go navigate to the driver's CrowdStrike folder and then locate and delete any of the files matching C hyphen 0000029 asterisk dot sys. So removing any of those bad uh, channel files. And he's noting that, look, uh, we're tracking this. Uh, no need to apologize because I was saying, hey, thanks so much, Brody. It's good to see you. Thank you for jumping in. And they say, I'm sorry, we can't give you too much more right now, but that's the gist. Uh, they are like locking this down. So now there are no updates that are going out or changes being made to hosts that will actually push that faulty driver or channel files. So you don't have to worry about it if you're late to the party. If for whatever reason you didn't have blue screens of death and you're using CrowdStrike, then cool, you're in the clear. Hopefully that's a-okay but they are obviously firing off all sirens, bells, alarm whistles, and trying to fight this thing. So hug ops, big shout out support to the folks that are, I, I know, uh, you know, you, you kind of have both sides of the coin here as folks that are obviously distraught and outages and upset, but they are people really fighting fires to uh, make sure that they can put this back in place. I will say though, I did have to meme just a little bit, just a little bit. I did have to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> The best way that you can clean up some of those faulty channel files is if you actually were to run del or del, again, that should work just fine as the old school cmd.exe command, or if you're in PowerShell, that will work properly as a remove item alias. So del c colon backslash system32 drivers crowdstrike blah 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 asterisk dot sys. Hopefully that'll clean it up and then you can boot as normal. Now, uh, some folks were also noting, hey, this is taking off uh, and really bringing down a significant amount of infrastructure. Uh, again, airports, banks, whatever the case may be. I know flights were just kind of being routed. And I can't say, I don't know. I, I did try to say, look, I don't know if this is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So let me say this with a grain of salt and take it what you will. Correlation's not causation, but down detector, we're certainly seeing a lot of stuff just starting to fall off the face of the internet. So <laughs> I'd love to get your hot take. Let me know. Now, I don't want to be rambling for too long, but I did still want to
want to help try and get the messaging out, spread awareness. Hopefully there is something remotely valuable in this video. And again, the just tracking of the Reddit thread, Twitter, anyone screaming and shouting about that. I did try to get it out on LinkedIn. I know this is still like emerging, breaking as of two hours. So we'll see how it all comes to life in the rest of Friday and the whole rest of the weekend. Um, it sounds like there are a lot of cinders and embers and there's quite some wildfire with this. Uh, I don't know if this tweet and messaging will kind of go out across the open internet. I see folks tagging me on like BBC stuff and raw news alerts and some screaming and shouting, but I uh, hope again, we can really, really, really bring the uh, praise to CrowdStrike. And I know that sounds so weird. I know that sounds like, hey, poo poo, th th this is a big problem, but it is going to take real people to actually solve the problem and fix it. So a heart goes out to all of those folks and let's just keep on doing what we do in the old cybersecurity and technology landscape. The notifications just keep going though, if I may say. Uh, kind of starting to see this thing blow up. Internet catching on fire of, whoops, the CrowdStrike snafu. I'm super interested in the root cause analysis. Uh, hey, I don't know, understand a little bit more about how this all came to life after the dust has settled. But for now, in the moment, you know what? Let's just all try to make sure folks are aware how they can work around it, hopefully fix it, and then send our best to CrowdStrike. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. <laughs>